Hello folks, how you doing? Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this on this video. I'm gonna have our sack that we all we all know. It's the uh, Hidden Woodsman, of course. This is like an EDC kit. Um, it's one of my habitats. I own two of them. EDC or day run around, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, in it, of course, we all know. Good old pair of gloves. These work pretty good. I love mechanics. Love them to death. Love them gloves. Been using them for years. Um, this is the, uh... CW Winter Impact Pad Pro, excuse me. <laughs> they are uh, supposed to be waterproof, you know, the impact resistant, you know, knuckle guards all over it, got padding. It's got Thinsulate, 40 grams of insulation. They do not keep my hands very warm. And they haven't been waterproof at all. Great gloves, great company. That's the only pair of gloves that I would never recommend to anybody. Them of just, I mean, I paid like 60 bucks for them. They didn't even last a year, you know, to what my other gloves would work or, you know, lasted. Anyway, this is a headlamp. It's a very big one. It's, uh, works. It's bright. It's rechargeable. It's got the head strap on it and everything. You know, it's got the little red light on the back, you know, when you're using it. I use this for work. I'm not really out doing anything with it. I don't like the little red light being in the background. Um, the battery pack's kind of heavy. It's not really compact, but it, you know, for work, it's great. It's got a mode button. You know, I think that's, yeah, that's the center. Then you got the two outsides. Try not to blind everybody. And then you got all three. And then you got the strobe. And that's it. It works. It's cheap. Well, eh, not real cheap, but you know, inexpensive. And it's waterproof. It is waterproof. Then I got some cordage. Just some 550 cord. A little key ring wrapped around it. That's just two hanks. I think they're about 10, 15 foot of, you know. 15 foot long mask keep my nose and stuff warm at work it's cold up here in Wisconsin um and just some cotton bandanas you know there's 10,000 uses they say for them we all know that then I have a hundred foot of real paracord this is the military spec. Atwood makes this one. And there's 10,000 uses for that too. We all know that. Let's see. Then I have the Mora Pro Robust. Good sturdy little knife. I've had it for a long time. Holds a good edge. And we all know what you can do with that. You know, it's the car. I think that's I think that's carbon. Then I had the Corona folding saw, big saw. But uh, you know, up here, truck gets stuck, needs some traction, whatever it may be, <laughs> or you need to start a fire. I have a saw. That's a fast cutting saw. It's not for doing delicate work. It's just there. And then my main, my big cutting blade, which I always have knives on me, but this is the SE Laser Strike. Very, very tough knife. Holds good edge. And it's got the divot, you know, for the bow drill, which I cannot do or haven't done it yet successfully. Inside the handle, it's got a, um, a little mini ferro rod magnesium rod 
Yeah, some tender and a uh, Sierra head. Pretty good survival knife. Probably the closest one I've actually seen to be in quote unquote survival. And then in here is the main part of my kit. It's in a Condor pouch. <coughs> Open it up and see. Let you see what's in it. Of course, I have cordage. That's the mini paracord that I call. It's from Atwood. Uh, I think there's a hundred feet here. I got this from, from Farm and Barn, but it's Atwood. It's very good cordage. It's like a mini paracord. I think it's like 80 pound test or whatever. I mean, you can make snares or you know whatever out of it. And then here I've got the original um, emergency space blanket. And then I got a cheap one from China or wherever they make them. I don't know. They may make the original there too. But the original one on uh, Amazon you can get if you put it on a, as an add-on item for like five bucks. They work. They're pretty good. I've used them before. I just don't have that one open and I don't want to. Then I have... A hank of uh, bank line from Self Reliance Outfitters, Dave Canterbury's store. Yeah, I love this stuff. It's cheaper than using paracord, and it also bites down on itself better, and it doesn't rot, and hardly ever frays. Then attached to the loop that's on the inside, I have a Mora. Elder, elders, I think is what you call it. That stays in this. This little kit, I can throw in any kit, or I can just throw it hands along, you know. It's just, I throw it in here, because if I need to use the haversack for something, I can attach that to the outside, you know, to carry whatever. Um, that's why it's all in this, really. And then I got the gobstopper from firesteel.com. That's that's a bad little ferro rod and it's also attached with S binders on the inside so I can't lose it <coughs> and then this is just a little thing I threw in here I picked these up they're usually pretty cheap but it's a ferro rod you know one end or on the inside it's got a glass breaker on it if you open it up you know you can hold a little bit of tinder in it it uh it's not bad. I like this one because it's compact. It's got a whistle on this side. It doesn't work with a flip. But there's the striker. It's another ferro rod. Whatever. Have a little button compass. And it's act or not compass, excuse me. It's a uh, temperature. And right now it's saying it's 42 degrees in here. So to tell you anything, and I have a lighter, of course. You know, got some bank line, got you know wrapped around it, um, zip tie so that it uh, doesn't discharge. And here's a top's whistle. <whistles> that one's loud. I'm not gonna blow it any louder because it blow my eardrums out and y'all. It's from Tops. Comes with a comes with a ferro rod and a magnesium rod, which I have in here. It's right here. It's got two magnesium rods, a ferro rod in the middle that usually comes together. But it's also got an SC arrowhead um, duct tape to it, just so I can, you know, do the survival thing. And then I got my little buck neck knife that I've had for years. The sheath sucks. It's a very good little knife, very versatile. Uh, small you can do pretty much anything you want to it and of course you can see it's full tame buck I have grew up with and love and then my good friend Matt Nichols made me a kydex sheath for it and now I even love it even more that's at grizzlyoutdoors.com or grizzly sheaths and holsters look him up look Matt Nichols up grizzly outdoors he makes 